In order to understand how catalysts affect the rate of reaction, it's useful to draw a reaction energy profile, or potential energy diagram. On a reaction energy profile, the y-axis will be representing potential energy, and the x-axis will be representing reaction progress, or the extent of the reaction. And let's consider an exothermic reaction where the potential energy of the products will be lower than the potential energy of the reactants. You may remember that to break the bonds in the reactants firstly, we must see an increase in potential energy in my system before reforming bonds and therefore a decrease in potential energy. The height of the initial increase in potential energy required to break the bonds is known as the activation energy. If colliding reactant particles have less kinetic energy than the activation energy required, then no reaction will happen. So how does this relate to catalysts? Well, what a catalyst does is it decreases the activation energy required. So as you can see, the blue line has a lower peak than the original black line showing that there's a lower activation energy when we use a catalyst. There's a number of different ways the catalyst might do this, but for the IB, that's not important. So how does this affect the rate of reaction? Well, my catalyst has reduced the activation energy. Therefore, more particles colliding will have the required activation energy. So we will expect to see more successful collisions and a faster rate of reaction. As a quick summary of the key points here, a catalyst reduces the activation energy required in a given reaction, as shown on the diagram on the left. And if the activation energy has been reduced, more particles that are colliding will have the required energy for a successful collision. Therefore, the impact will be to speed up the rate of reaction. Hopefully, this video is of some help.